Today I'm reviewing the smallest massage gun I've ever seen, the Kika Mini. Seven point five nine miles, nine minutes, eight seconds per mile, one hundred and forty one beats per minute today. Going for a nice and easy recovery run today. Just getting out there for some active recovery, getting the legs moving, enjoying the time being outside. Had a really hard workout yesterday, so I wanted to follow it up with some easy miles, be gentle in the body, and then do some massage with the Kika Mini. Now, before I give you my thoughts on this tiny little massage gun, I do want to go over some disclosures. This is a massage gun that was sent to me for the purpose of review by Feutech, the company that makes this gun. Uh, however, they're not paying me to make this video or to use this massage gun, and they're not going to get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with the disclosures out of the way, let's talk about the Feutech Kika Mini. Now this is a tiny little massage gun, much smaller than some of the other massage guns that I've been reviewing on the channel lately. So this one is definitely different in size, but what are some of the trade-offs? What are some of the benefits of that size? So in terms of the benefits is that it's much more portable. You could definitely take it with you if you're traveling anywhere or if you're going to the gym and want to be able to use it right before your workout or right after your workout. It's something that we very easily get stashed inside a gym bag. This one also comes with a little carrying pouch which is a little bit different than some of the other massage guns that I've worked with which have cases. Originally I thought, well, I don't know. I think I kind of want a case for this thing, but when I think about how much more portable I want it to be and how much smaller of a footprint or as small a footprint as possible I want it to have, the pouch I think makes a lot more sense for me. It makes it much more likely that I'll throw it in my gym bag. It also has USB-C charging, which I think makes a lot of sense, especially when you think about this as being like a more portable massage gun. It does come with a USB-C case cable, but no power brick, just so keep that in mind. But I feel like it's 2020, everyone has like tons of those sitting around. As far as attachments, you get multiple heads and all the attachments are much softer. So this ball head attachment is a little bit of a rubbery, softer material. It also comes with this uh, Y-shaped attachment, which I tend to not really like these on other massage guns because they're usually made out of just really dense, hard plastic. This has like a little bit of a softer tip to it, so it's a little bit gentler, but still, this type of attachment, generally not my favorite. Uh, then the next one it has is the bullet attachment, which I typically like, but on this one, I don't like it because it is soft. It's not really getting and doing the purpose of the bullet attachment that I normally like. Usually I like to put this in the massage gun and really jam it into like my hip. And when this attachment is soft, it just doesn't seem to do as good a job. It's also smaller than some of the other bullet attachments that I've used. So I think that also is just something that I don't like quite as much. But not all the attachments are soft. There's still a flat head, which is a very like hard, it's almost like a metal type of material. Uh, and it's got a little nubbin at the end. I think it's kind of magnetized or not like a magnet where you pick stuff up, but I think there's like a magnetic property to it. It's supposed to help with uh, aiding blood flow or, or something along that lines. This one I think is actually really nice. I like that they kept this one in a more dense solid material. Uh, so that way you can get some of that deep tissue type of massage. Now, in terms of some of the other trade-offs of using this, what I think looks like more like a gear shifter. I think some of these bigger ones look like a power drill. You got like a gear shifter here. So lots of other kinds of ergonomics going on. I tend to use it more like this instead of using it like a gun uh, where I might be like kind of like drilling at myself. I find I'm like I'm rubbing over the muscles in this way and using my hand to kind of like push it down. And that kind of works for me. And it makes up for the fact that this is, you know, a smaller motor. To use this device, you hold on uh, the button on the bottom and then it starts to shake. Uh, then there's three different modes. You've got this mode, then you've got the next level of intensity, and then you've got the highest level of intensity where I feel like it kind of starts buzzing. It gets a little bit noisy. 
And when I was talking about how like the motor just isn't all that powerful, I feel like I could get it into my muscles and this feels really nice but i can also feel like when i'm pushing on it i feel like i can really slow that motor down quite a bit so if you really want to get that deep tissue massage in there sometimes it just doesn't work out quite as well especially when i'm pairing it with like some of these softer heads like this bullet which i said was just i think a little bit too soft for its own good i feel like that's where i'm not quite getting the horsepower that i want and i'm really feeling that size for power trade-off but for the most part when I'm using this head this flat head or the ball head I feel like it's powerful enough I do wish it were a lot quieter because it's doing that weird like humming buzzing sound and I'm just not a huge fan of that but then again it's not like I'm doing this in a quiet spot I'm usually watching something television YouTube videos that kind of thing so not a huge deal uh, but if the noise is something that bothers you than something to keep in mind when you're looking at this device. Now, the other thing about this device is because of that smaller size, I don't know if it's actually not like massaging as broad an area as well, or if I just feel like that's what's happening because it is smaller, but I feel like I'm spending more time using this device because it is smaller than I would be using this much larger device. Even though the heads, you know, they are a different size, but they're not, you know, tremendously different, but I feel like that does make a difference as well. So I feel like it's not quite impacting as large an area. So like when I watch the footage, you know, in slow motion, you could see like the ripples running through the muscles as the massage gun kind of percusses. I just feel like that like ripple is smaller in this Kika Mini and it's just not as pleasant. So I feel like I'm spending more time doing it. So that's another kind of drawback. But I think the advantage of something like this is if you're using it on muscles that are not some of the larger muscles. Like as a runner, I like to use it on my butt, on my hip, on my thighs, on my hamstrings, sometimes on my calves. But there's other places that you might need it depending on your activity needs. So if you're using it on a forearm, in the bicep, in the shoulders, I feel like that's an area where you might not necessarily want to have a really powerful massage gun and having some of these smaller attachments might exactly be what you're looking for. It's just not what I'm looking for. And for runners, I'm not sure that this is really going to be powerful enough um, to do what you need. But again, depending on what your needs are, this might exactly be the massage gun you've been looking for. And overall, the battery life's been pretty good. I get like two or three sessions out of this and my sessions are a little bit longer when I'm using this mini, but uh, I still get two to three sessions before I need to stick it back on a charger. And so again, that portability factor, I think really works. I'm not exactly sure on the pricing of it. If I do find out that information, I'll update it in the description down below. But as of the time of the filming, I'm not exactly sure what the pricing is gonna be. There's been some previous models of the Kika that have been sold on Fabetech's website and on uh, Amazon and those products came in over a hundred bucks and I feel like over a hundred dollars I'm not sure if the trade-offs for me as a runner are necessarily worth it I think at the low some of the lower prices where I've seen models that kind of look similar to this or fit in the similar genre to this those prices are a little bit more compelling and that's where I can kind of see having this here's one last thing about this massage gun that I haven't mentioned yet which is a surprise which took me a little while to kind of figure out what's going on here. There's another attachment that they sent along and it's this. And I've never seen an attachment like this for a massage gun because, I mean, I've seen this shape before. It's very similar to this like flathead shape, but it's everything about it is soft. If I can get this zoomed in. And it's got these little like silicon heads on it. And I couldn't really figure out when or why anyone would ever want to use it. And then as I was cycling through some of the power settings on the Kika Mini, it went from low to medium to high. There's one setting after that that's like super low key chill. And I was like, is this not safe for work? What is going on here? And then I just realized, oh, it's for face masks. Again, they're taking advantage of the fact that this is a smaller device, really taking advantage of that smaller form factor and the smaller motor that's in here. And uh, this is supposed to be for like, if you're doing like a face mask or a scrub, it gets, you know, you can actually use this on your face. I think that that's not that comfortable when I put this on my face. Here, you guys wanna see that? I think you guys wanna see that. All right, so I'm using this on my face. And so it's just like, kind of weird for me to use. I'm not a huge fan of it. But I guess, you know, I'm not really like a face scrub kind of guy, but you know, I don't know, it's not bad. But I just feel like the same thing that I use on my butt is not usually the same thing I wanna use on my face. 
to each their own. This isn't necessarily made just for owners, it's made for all types of people. So those are my thoughts on the Kika Mini from Fayutech. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or better yet, feel free to stop by the live stream that I do on YouTube every day, 3 p.m. Central Time. I'd love to answer any questions you have there. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?